Good afternoon, welcome to Smokers. I'm your host, Nicholas Pettis. Tonight, it's all about sex, rock and roll, and fights. <laughs> this event is former K1 champion Nicholas Pettis' brainchild, and for many, is the perfect male fantasy, containing food, drink, music, attractive women, and fighting. Here, a troupe of exotic dancers from a famous strip club hit the scene. This young woman is completely enthralled with her role as a ring girl. Everyone has their 15 minutes of fame. The first fight is with a yacked out warrior and his baby faced opponent, who seems like he got his first kiss last year. The fight starts with a bang, and the tattooed guy tries to decapitate his opponent. Babyface rallies valiantly, but his blows are not hard enough to deter the attack. Babyface comes back, the spinning back fist, but it misses. It only enrages his opponent. Babyface gets some kicks in, but they are not hard enough. Nearly knocked out, but holds on. He is far tougher than I would have given him credit for. Throw the spoils. However, the babyface fighter made a good showing in a seriously mismatched fight that he was probably designed to lose. The next fight quickly breaks down into a playground brawl. All technique goes out the window as the fighters rely on the tried and true windmill punch. Finally, one fighter's windmill punch scores a hit and the other one goes down. He gets up. The fighter tries to finish him off, but instead goes down himself. Finally, coup de gras. Tokyo style. Style. She's trying to throw up. Just try. 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 Just try.
actually involves some skilled practitioners. The fight is clean and decisive. Back on. Back on.